YouTube, what's going on? It's Jim Mario here with my first ever haircut tutorial. You guys picked this video, so that's the video we're gonna do. Let's get right into it. So first, I'm gonna start off by clipping his hair up so we have, you know, a clear view of what we're working with. What I'm gonna start doing is brushing down his hair, make sure that everything is nice and even. We can have a clean surface to work on. Now we're gonna start off with the ball line. Um, he wanted kind of a low mid, like mid skin fade, but he wanted to keep the scoops. There's no, like you can do a low fade on him, but it just wouldn't look that good. It wouldn't look like he really got a haircut. So I decided to go a little bit higher. The, lo the lineup right now, like where the guide is, is kind of low, but it's gonna be faded and stretched really, like it's gonna be stretched a lot. So it's gonna look more like a mid fade. So we're starting off with the one and a half guard. We're gonna use that to debulk. Make sure you get everything to an even number. The whole one and a half guard, you wanna make sure everything's clean. Then we're gonna start off with the half guide, which is the lever open. You're gonna make a guideline for that. We're gonna grab the one and a half actually, which is the one guard open, which is gonna fade into that one and a half guard. So you're gonna do it open. Then what I do is I go from open to quarter to close. I fade down. So we're gonna go one guard open, one guard quarter, and then one guard closed. And it's pretty much gonna fade into it. We're gonna go all the way down to that zero guard, which is the lever open. We're gonna fade down to that. Speeding it up so you guys don't have to see everything because I do try to take my time with it. I do take a little while. Now you can see I got the 1 16th or the zero guard as a lot of people like to call it, but it's really called the 1 16th guard. Um, I started open, quarter, and then close. That's what I do with all my steps. I work down. So I'm working down from that 1 16th open all the way down to the close. It'll fade right into the lever open guideline. As you can see, I'm really hitting it with the corners. There's a little spot right there I'm going over right now. It's kind of hard to get out, but eventually the fade comes in nice. It starts looking good. So now we're starting over with the lever open and we start fading down. So right now I'm working in that little area just to, you know, get a little guide, but I start moving towards the back of the head and everything. It's gonna start looking real nice and blurry. As you can see, I'm starting to work in the back now. I'm, you know, really working that 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 lever open, trying to make sure it all fades down. And um, I like starting off with the scoops, you know, just so I have a basic idea of what the what the haircut is looking like with the scoop, so I can go back and retouch it or anything. This was kind of sloppy because I was kind of blocked by the camera, so it wasn't the best scoop. But I get it at the end, I make it look a little bit more sharp, a little bit more scooped, if you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, we go back with the duck clips. I'm not sure if these are duck clips or alligator clips or crocodile, I don't know. But you guys get the gist. So I'm brushing the hair down again. And pretty much on this, you're gonna repeat the steps. Just brush the hair down. This time I did the, I did the ball line first and then I'll debulk afterwards. As you can see, I'm balling him out. Now you can see I make that that guy line pretty low, but it gets faded out pretty high because um, I actually stretched the blend. So I'm hitting him with a one and a half guard again, trying to debug, get all that hair out. So we have a clean surface to work on. 
Now we're making the guide with the lever open again all around the head. Right here, I'm, I got the one and a half guard. And by one and a half, I just, I have a bad tendency of saying it, but it's really a one guard open. But since it fades right into the one and a half, I sometimes call it a one and a half. One guard open and it goes from open, quarter, closed. That's how all my guards are. I start one guard open, quarter, and then close. Then I get the 1 16th open, quarter, close. I think I got the 1 16th here. There you go, you see? Right there, 1 16th open. And eventually I'm gonna get that line up there that you guys are seeing. I'm gonna fade that out and it's gonna look very nice, man. It's gonna actually look pretty fresh. I ain't gonna lie. For any of you guys wondering, I've only been cutting hair for about two years. Uh, I do have my license. I went and got my license before I even knew how to cut hair. Went to school and I started learning while I was in school at this barbershop that I'm at right now. By the way, y'all follow Ground Zero Miami. So now I'm hitting it with the uh, no guard, which is also considered um lever open or lever closed but i just say no guard closed and i'm hitting it with the trimmers because that line is kind of um kind of rough but as you can see it's pretty nice it's not done yet but we're gonna get there we're gonna get it there i'm hitting it with the trimmers right now try to get that line very crispy And um, we're gonna start in the back. And as you can see in the back, he has an indentation right there. It's gonna make it a little bit harder for us to fade, but nothing's impossible, man. We gonna make it happen. Um, it's gonna be a little higher in the back because, you know, it's just that indentation. There's no way you can fade through that. You gotta bring that thing high, man. Indentation is a little hard to fade through. It's, his hair has like a, a calic in the indentation. So it's kind of hard to fade that and make that look, you know, faded and flush and even, so. We do bring it a little bit higher, so just for the purpose of the fade looking, you know, a little bit cleaner and not soupy. There's nothing worse than a soupy fade on the undercut. I think that's crazy. You can see I'm working my steps. I didn't show too much of it because um, it's pretty much the same thing they've already seen twice, pretty much. I'm not trying to make this video get super long. Just pretty much repeat the same steps. Hitting with the masters for you know, stuff that I couldn't get with the seniors. And um, now we're gonna start off with the tape. We're um, flipping the hair up so I can see what's under there. I'm brushing that tape hair down. That's a double tape. He's gonna get a double tape. That's what people down here in Miami like, especially who have long hair. Um, I'm bringing it down to a one and a half, which is also a one guard open. Right there I showed, he has a little gap right there. He doesn't like that gap. That gap is, he just, wish it wouldn't be there so I, he, he's okay with me pushing it up a tiny bit and we agreed on that i know i had to say that because one of you guys are going to say i pushed this line back and so and the same thing goes with the vertical bars you can see his vertical bars are very light um if i were to line them up right let me see i'm gonna show you guys right around here and then try to do a vertical bar it would be so light it really wouldn't show so we agreed let's push it a little bit and um just make the vertical bars a little bit more sharp like that boom it's a little pushback but it's not that crazy and it's what me and him agreed on that's what we're doing and at the end you're gonna see the hair could actually does look very crispy the tape up looks crispy and he actually has a pretty small like boxy tape it's not very it's not like a normal size box for the tape it's kind of small so pushing it out a little bit more just that tiny bit makes it look a little bit more natural makes it look a little bit more like how it should look because if a boxy tape is too small it just looks kind of crazy it looks kind of forced so it's okay to push it a tiny bit back you don't have to go crazy with it I'm making sure i'm hitting that you know making it look nice going over it more than once because the first time might not be it you feel me so right here you're gonna see me add enhancements i got the master airbrush i had it cordless but 
it kept falling, man. I kept breaking, and I'm not gonna keep spending a hundred bucks every time I want a new airbrush. So I got it corded so it doesn't move. I have that thing taped down to my station. It ain't ever falling, I promise. <laughs> As you can see, we're making them crispy, man. That table was already pretty crispy. It was already straight, man. He could have walked out the shop normal, chilling like that. But I'm like, you know what? Let me ask something, man. He's a rapper. I know he got to look fresh. I know he got to look fresh for videos. Make sure my boy look, get out the shop looking good, man. Feeling good. And I know there's a lot of people who don't mess with enhancements. And that's good. I get it. But this new age, man. This new age of barbering. You gotta move with the freaking. You gotta move with the time, man. You can't stay stuck in one spot. If the client likes it. Why wouldn't I add it? Now I'm bawling his face out. You see his man's laughing. <laughs> we were laughing about some stupid stuff at the shop, man. You know how the shop is, the shop environment. Bawling him out. You can see right there. That face looking pretty straight, man. It's looking pretty nice. Bawling him under there. Damn, I need a cut, boy. Mustache, everything bald. He just keeps a little goatee. Now I'm going to show you the razor word. This is a pretty nice angle, I ain't going to lie, man. Um, if you guys are wondering, I'm actually recording on the Canon EOS RP with the 104 to 105. No, I'm sorry. 24 to 105 um, lens. It's a pretty much a kit lens, the one that it comes with. But man, this lens and camera takes some raw ass videos. Look at that. But as you can see, I'm balling him out. That's one side of the fade. You're about to see the other side pull up right now. There we go. That, that hair got pretty crispy, man. He left happy, he left satisfied. That's all that matters, man. So this is the after, you guys. You guys saw how he came in. This man is blessed. This has been Jamario, man. I'll see you guys next time.